Let me show you how you can use the non-parametric test, the Wilcoxon sign rank test. Here we have the 25, 32, sorry, 32 different stations across the world. Here's their 1901, 1950 average temperature. This is their 1951, 2000 temperature. We want to test to see if it's warmer It'd be in 1951 to 2000 than it is to 1901, 1950 for the average temperatures. So uh, we could use a paired sample t-test, but I want to show you the non-parametric uh, Wilcoxon sign drink test. So first of all, we're going to take the difference of these two temperatures. I'm going to go to calc, the calculator. I'm going to store the one in column four, and my expression is going to be this average minus this average. So if you think about it, the ones on the right are look to be a little bit greater than, so most of it is going to be negative. Okay, so we have all these, these uh, temperatures. Because if we're saying that it's going to be warmer in the second half of the century, then the difference is going to be negative. So here's where we go to, to get the non-parametric test. You go to stat. Instead of going to basic statistics, you go down here to non-parametrics. And we want a one sample Wisconsin, Wilcoxon. So again, going to stat, non-parametrics, one sample of coxin, we want to look at the variable of the difference, and let's say we want a 90% confidence. Well, actually, let's go ahead and test the median first. And we're saying that the alternative is, well, we could do not equal to, but we want to say that the temperatures have gotten warmer, so we're going to say that they're less than. That's the burden of proof to see if the median's uh, the average temperature, median of the average temperature has gotten less than. So we go ahead and do that. And here we find out that the median difference is negative 3.67. Here's our Wilcoxon sign rank test. If we actually ranked all the uh, differences it is from zero, we get a test value of 29 and a p-value of zero. So we would reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis being that their average temperatures are the same in favor of the alternative hypothesis to say, no, look, uh, based on their data here, temperatures are getting warmer. The median average temperature is getting warmer from that. All right, let's do a confidence interval statement then here. Now, we want a 90% confidence interval, but uh, the Wilcoxon sign rank test does only does two-sided. So I'm going to do a one sample Wilcoxon again. Instead of doing test the mean, I'm going to do a confidence level. Let's suppose I want a 90% confidence interval. It's going to give me a two-sided. So I'm going to say it to 80% and then take the uh, upper bound. So right here I have negative 2.87. So that means that my average, the median of my average temperature is 2.287 degrees warmer in the second half of the 20th century than the first part of the 20th century. So again, for a 90% right one sided confidence interval, I chose to do an 80%. If I was going to do, let's say, a 95% one sided, uh, I would test it for 90% two sided. So I hope this helps in deter helping you uh, figure out how to use Minitab for these non